Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and welcome to Viewer Emails. Viewer Emails, the very popular Archie Luxury segment on the Archie Luxury program. How are you fuckers today? You all good fuckers? Yes, 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 yes. And uh, this is the, uh, the lead up to Christmas. It's the 21st of December. It's coming up fast, fuckers. Coming up fast. And uh, I, I might as well make a um, peace to all, fuckers. Peace to all. And uh, I'll just put it out there. I'll just put it out there because I know how uh, John Suckerhorn's a huge fan of the Archie Luxury Program. I just want to put it out. Hey, John, John, do you want to do a Christmas show? Me, you, we'll do a live show. No recorded scripts, no nothing. You can speak about what you want. I'll speak about what I want. And uh, positive, please. Positive, nothing nasty. No more nastiness. Peace to war. So uh, I put it out there, John. Come on, John. Let's see if we can get a, um, a show happening together. The punters want it. Now, I've got to speak of more good Christmas spirit. I've been receiving a few, and uh, I just want to... Just tell you about a few there. I've uh, I got this one in here. Uh, how the fuck you pronounce it? Laddie Classic! Laddie Classic! And uh, this was sent to me by by my good friend, Mark, Mark Brown. And Mark has been an absolute fucking gentleman. What a fucking cool, cool quitter Mr. Brown is. And uh, he also sent me these Dartington... English lead crystal glasses. Cheers, fuckers. That's a really nice scotch. Mm! That's really, really nice, Mark. And I've had a few more gifts have come in. And uh, it's about time I, I share them with the viewers. People like a little bit of publicity. You send me a gift and I'll, I'll give you publicity. And, and this is from Mike. Mike. Mike from Sydney. He sent me this wonderful gift. And uh, what he sent me was, which was a really, really nice scotch. It was actually, uh, it's one of the Japanese Centauri whiskies. Hakushu. Hakushu whiskey there absolutely i've actually tested it superb absolutely superb thank you mike mike's a really cool fan i mean that that's a fucking good gift i mean that that japanese whiskey it's just <coughs> it's superb i gotta say the ladder ladder classic mm. That's a great scotch, that. Now, I'll put the Japanese, the... Haiga! Haiga tas! Haiga tas mas! Haiga tas! Arigato! I better put a, um... This is a fucking good... The Japs... I tell you the truth there. i got to tell you the truth there. It's like everything the Japs do. They do it the best. Okay, they are just absolute fucking... Precision fuckers and, uh... This is the Japanese Scotch. Cheers. This is from Mike from Sydney. <sighs> Fucking good stuff. Fucking good stuff. And I've had a few more presents have come in there. Scott and Bridget. Bridget's the beautiful lady who made me that beautiful pop-up Archie Luxury card. They've also, I'm not supposed to open this till Christmas, but I can see it's Johnny Walker Blue. I love Johnny Walker Blue. Absolutely love Johnny Walker Blue. And the other, the other wonderful things that have come in for Archie Luxury. John Meeks sent me a card. And uh, John... That is so cool. Ten dollars. I love. I love getting U.S. currency. Love it. And uh, he goes there. Hey Archie, I've been having health issues for several months and watching your channel always cheers me up. 
You post lots of videos, unlike most of the other YouTube fuckers that only post one or two a week. Hang in there, Archie, and Merry Christmas! Nice one, John Meeks. Thank you so much, John. That is a really cool card, and uh, I absolutely, absolutely love it. I, la I, I keep all my Christmas cards because, you know, before I had the YouTube channel, I never really had friends. So I've never really received cards and, you know, beautiful well wishes like that. So that's, that's cool. Stephen Brooks, <coughs> Stephen Brooks, <coughs> Stephen Brooks sent me two bottles of rum. I'm about to, this is spiced rum. I'm about to, about to find out how great this is. So two beautiful bottles of spiced rum. We'll see. They say rum makes you a bit violent. So, uh. We'll see if Archie has any nasty, nasty Christmas outrage. We'll see what happens there. So that's a, that's a great that's a great gift there. I'm really, really happy to have received that. And I also got a uh, I also got a wonderful gift card, fifty dollar Dan Murphy's gift card from Big Jim. Merry Christmas, big boy. Merry Christmas, big boy. <coughs> Uh, from one of the haters, Big Jim. Thank you so much. That's that's beautiful. I really, really do appreciate that there. That's um, that's really nice shit there. That's beautiful. That's absolutely... <coughs> that's, that's top class shit. I'm really, really happy that you beautiful fans out there support Archie. And, and I've been going through a very tough year. You know, separation and all this nasty stuff. It's just... It just really makes it better when someone sends me a great Christmas gift. So uh, I'd really like to say thank you. Thank you so much there. Let's take a small commercial break. We'll be right back, continuing with the program. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box and one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Okay, I'm back. Thank you very much, fuckers. And uh, Marco, Marco's made a video where he thanks me. Hi Archie, I've attached a video to thank you for my first important watch purchase in the world of important horology pieces. Regards, Marco Tullio Agudilo. So uh, thank you so much. And I just said to, 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 uh, to Marco there, Marco, hey, it's great to see you got a great watch. Any chance of a small donation? I mean, you do appreciate what Archie's done for you, that's cool. But how about a few little bucks, hey? Come on, Marco. Love you to death. Let's see what we can do there. So let's take a look at Marco's video, fuckers. Hello, fucker. Just wanted to thank you, Archie. I've been uh, visiting your YouTube website for about uh, six months already. And every time I uh, visit your YouTube channel, uh, I always see that you're constantly talking about you know, a certain watch that you buy, sell, and, and you always make emphasis on, on that specific watch. You know, I've seen your collection and you talk about all your watches, but this this one specific watch that you talk about all the time and it's uh, and you talk very highly about it. And it's the uh, Speedmaster Man on the Moon, fuckaroonie. So just wanted to thank you. Uh, I made the, the purchase due to your influence. Um, and I couldn't be happy with it. Uh, I bought it off uh, retail uh, with the Hesalite uh, crystal and the solid case back. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, timepiece. So just want to say thank you. 
and uh, keep doing your good work in your channel. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're back again. Now we've got some got some viewer emails, and uh, let's have a look here. This one is one which has just come in, <coughs> and uh, uh, actually, just before I do that. Stephen Brooks, Merry Christmas, Archie. In two hours, you better pick up two bottles of rum from Dan Murphy's. Please get yourself some eggnog and drink dark rum and eggnog drinks from me for the Christmas season. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for finally making the sub, brace, sub bracelet strap change video, Stephen Brooks. Thank you so much, Stephen. He's been a very loyal fan of the channel. Love him to death. Now, let's, <coughs> let's have a look here. I've got a... Next, the viewer email is from Paul Legrand. Been a very loyal fan of the channel. Very, very, very loyal. Okay, he goes, Hi, Paul. It's Paul from Cornwall, Ontario. We Skyped, and it was great. Always happy to see your videos. I sent you $50 for Christmas. Thank you. Can you comment on this, or even make a video if you want? So here goes. I'm looking at buying a Royal Oak and Steel. So I'm doing research and therefore I'm looking out at many of them that are for sale. I came across this one. Now this one got serviced last year and photos of the service papers are included. Not that I'm interested in this watch, but I'm concerned about what AP wrote. After charging $4,773.05 for the service, I know you made a bit about how expensive AP is to service at AP. They tell the customer that since his watch is 27 years old, the service warranty will be void if the watch comes into contact with moisture to not even wash his hands with it on. When I saw that, I had to give my head a shake. A 1987 Royal Oak gets serviced at AP for $4,773 and they say you can't even wash your hands with it. I, uh, I mentioned that it's old but had been over polished. Uh, I mentioned that it's old may have been over polished i know it's a sandwich watch but still they can't flatten the surface for the seals you got to read the notes a watch that's made in 1987 is not that old here's where i lose it what the fuck is up with that makes me think that ap is dog shit they get 4773 and they don't guarantee the watch to be waterproof so the 24 month warranty is bullshit uh blah 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 what do you think love to know Paul Legrand. Now look, let's just back the truck up. Back the truck up. Back the truck up. Now, AP is extremely conservative, okay? They're extremely conservative. Okay, so what they say is true, but they are being absolutely sticklers. Now, personally, any watch of that caliber... <clears throat> without a screw-in crown, I wouldn't, I'd be very fucking careful with it, <clears throat> okay? I made a video about a, if you, you, you wear a watch like this, you need a wrapper, a wrapper, so if it's raining, you can put it into a protective plastic sleeve. These fuckers do get condensation. Now look, seriously, that watch you sent me the link on, that was actually pretty good value, okay? It's pretty good value for a day-day moon phase, Audemars Piguet, a little bit small in size, but it's a fucking fantastic complication. Wonderful watch, ultra thin movement. It is fucking amazing. With that said, it's not, <coughs> it's not a Rolex sports watch, okay? It's not like a Rolex, okay? And this is the whole thing. They are extremely conservative, and I, I wouldn't be taking it anywhere near water. I agree with them. They're just saying that because some dickhead, a lot of Americans, you know, they, they can't handle the truth. They they would take it in water or, you know, they say, ah, oh, it says it's this, it's this. they got to be very careful. And I agree with their advice. I recently sold an AP. That was my Royal Oak that I had, which I really loved. And I said to the guy, don't put water anywhere near it, even though it's supposedly waterproof. And mine was a 1996 model. Don't get it anywhere near water. Don't, 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 <coughs> don't do that because they're so precious, they're so expensive. If it hasn't got a screw in crown, that type of case is a little bit flawed. Don't put it in water because fuckers, Americans, they'll submerge the thing and say, oh, you said it was waterproof. 
That's what happens. They're just cockheads, okay? So, <coughs> it's not really... They're just very conservative fuckers. That's how the Swiss are. They're, they're just arrogant fuckers at times. So, they've done a really... That watch you actually sent me the link on is actually a fucking nice watch. It's a good price. Some other bunnies paid for the expensive service. That's going to be a fucking great watch to have. That, that, that's a fucking great watch, okay? There's no problems with that watch at all. It's a good, honest, reliable watch, okay? That, that would be safe buying because it's, it's had the expensive repair. Some other bunnies paid for the service. Then you can get 10 years before it needs a service. And it's probably the next service is going to be nowhere near as aggressive as that. So I, my advice to you is it, it's not a bad watch. It's actually a fucking nice watch. They're extremely conservative. Any of those hort horology, I wouldn't be putting near water, okay? I would not be doing that. You've got to be very careful with these things. Humidity and, you know, they're not, they're not a piece that is just made for every... That's why I've really gone Rolex very heavy, because I live in the tropics. It's fucking hot and humid and stinky. I love Asia. I love Asia. And I need a more robust... Mo little bit more robust watch for my lifestyle and I admit that okay I admit that so it's not that they they're hopeless or that these are very delicate pieces and they're such an expensive complication I wouldn't be putting it anywhere near water follow their advice but it's a good watch it's not a piece of shit it's not a piece of shit this is a fucking very nice watch and the price on it <coughs> it's not that expensive for a complication like that could you imagine what that would be in a Patek? That would be big money. A lot more than... That's a very fair price. So I I, I, um, I think that's good. Get one that's had a service. It's like my one. I paid 3500 for the service. That's going to be a great piece. Great piece. Okay, next viewer email. Okay, this is from Blake Rhodes. Uh, was doing Christmas shopping today at the mall, so I stopped at the Rolex authorized dealer. They're also an AD dealer. The guy behind the counter notices, notices I'm wearing a rose, day date too, and immediately starts showing me every goddamn piece they have. Then he says, can I ask you, sir? I said, sure. He said, did you buy that Rolex, that gold Rolex from us? I said, I said, fuck no, I bought it from a dealer online at a huge fucking discount. This fucking loser starts telling me that is the dumbest thing ever and that all watches purchased online are fakes. I tried to explain to him about the Rolex from and Chrono 24 and this fucking guy just didn't get it. I can't tell if this guy is working at the Rolex boutiques are really as clueless as they seem or if they actually know their boss is doing deals in the back alley with guys that are selling watches on Chrono 24 in the forums. Anyway, happy holidays, Arch. Just sent you a few bucks via PayPal. Take care, Blake. Yeah, they're cunts, Blake. I mean, what what can you say? The internet is killing their business, okay? The internet is killing it. And I just say it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of cunts. That's what happens there. Hello, my name is Cherry. I want to help anyone in the Brisbane area looking for a quality late model, low kilometer used car. Um, I'm looking for people in the Brisbane, Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast area of Queensland in Australia. You know, my friend Benny is an honest man who sells quality used cars. Benny is a good guy and he will look after you. Because Benny only sells quality cars. <laughs> Please call Benny on. 0432-279-202 And Blake, I, I used to work in a jewellery store. Long story, I wanted to learn the prestige jewellery business. Got myself a job so I could learn whether it's worth going into and it's not shit, it's fucked. Retail store, bricks and mortar store, it's all over, Blake. And I used to have people we didn't sell Rolex, but we sold diamonds. And I used to have people who'd buy diamonds from Blue Nile. And they'd come in and say, are these diamonds real? And uh, we were told by management to criticize and always plant seeds of doubt. These were fucking good stones. Okay? And that's the same thing that this, this asshole's doing to you. 
This is someone who, <clears throat> come on, Blake, you're killing their business, okay? Don't pay retail. It's like me. I, I don't pay fucking retail. You're killing their business. They got pressure from Rolex. Rolex is saying no discounting, sell at full margin, 10% max. That's, that's what the official Rolex line is. You're buying from a grey dealer. What do you think he's going to say? I, I remember I bought my Monty, Montegrappa. And uh, I bought it second hand and uh, from a very good source. And then I took it into a pen shop to get ink. And they said, oh, did you buy it from us? I said, no, I bought it online. And they said, oh, it's probably fake. It's fake. I said, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're going to get an instant argument. Just leave these people. Let them go broke without your input. It just antagonizes the fuckers. And please, you've got to understand, a lot of people who work in these stores, particularly in America, they don't fucking earn much. They don't earn much, okay? Just, just know they're fucked, okay? Now, let me say this to you. I went to, I went to Hearts on Fire Diamond Training, and we had this gun salesman from America came out, and he said, you know something? The consumer, the consumer who's net savvy and who is buying online, they ain't coming into your store. They're buying online. And I thought, fuck, the business is over. Exactly right. The business is over. It's all over. Online, of course. Buy grey. Buy used. Don't buy new. Schmucks buy new. Schmucks pay full price. Schmucks, buy gold Rolex for a 10% discount. You can fuck yourself. I'm Archie Luxury. This has been Viewer Emails. Please keep the, the, the emails coming in. <coughs> Thank you so much for your support throughout the year. And I, I may even make another Viewer Email before Christmas. I got a special Christmas message. I got heaps of videos coming. Keep a few donations coming. Archie's going through a very hard time. Love yous all. See you later, fuckers!